Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Cinch. Specifically, we're going to start with setting up all the hardware you need um, to get started with Cinch. So just to back up, um, Cinch operating system solves a few problems with Wi-Fi. What you're essentially going to do is connect directly from uh, the computer or tablet or phone that you're trying to control your Raspberry Pi with to the Raspberry Pi. What we're going to do is use a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle, and that will throw out an, a Wi-Fi SSID called DEX, D-E-X, that we'll connect to or like log into from our, uh, um, our computer or our phone uh, or tablet. So I've got a few things to get started with. I've got a Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is a Model 3. You can use a 2, a B, B plus, a, um, a Raspberry Pi Zero as well. Um, we've got a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle and the Cinch operating system will only work with the Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle. Um, and we've got uh, a micro SD card with Cinch burned to it. So it's got the Cinch operating system, which as I said is a little bit different um, than Raspbian for robots. Um, and finally I've got uh, USB power. So first step is I'm going to go ahead and just set this up hardware-wise and that just requires putting the Wi-Fi dongle into the Raspberry Pi and the SD card into the uh, Raspberry Pi on the back side. And that's pretty much all you need. You, you should have the robot built, uh, whether you're using the Grove Pi or the Brick Pi or the Go Pi Go already. And finally, we're just going to power it up. And what we'll see after we power it up are the normal turn on of the lights. Uh, we'll see the ACT lights start to blink, the power light is on there, and it's solid. And we'll give it a, just a minute or two, and we'll start to see a light in the Wi-Fi dongle actually turn on as well. Cinch actually can take a minute or two to start up. It takes a little bit longer to set up the Wi-Fi access point. Great, and now we can see the uh, Wi-Fi uh, dongle is starting to blink there. And if we go onto our Wi-Fi uh, network search on our computer or our phone, we'll see the uh, uh, new Wi-Fi network called DEX, D-E-X. Go in my Mac, I go up and I look at my different Wi-Fi networks and I can see this is my home network, the Chennai 2.0. But now I've got a new one that's unsecured, there's no lock next to it called DEX. I should just be able to click on that and it'll take a second and there we're connected to it. So you can see earlier I was connected to my home network and I pulled up <clears throat> an internet page, the DexterIndustries.com page. Now I should be able to type in DEX.local and I should be able to pull up the home page of the um, of uh, Raspbian for Robots. And there we go. Got the desktop up and um, I can launch VNC here. I've got two options. I can go and use the terminal. So if you're more advanced, a more advanced user and you want to actually use terminal, you can do that from this uh, browser as well. You just log in and the login is pi and the password is robots1234 and you should be there. Um, but we can go back and at the desktop local, the most common use would be to launch the desktop, uh, desktop um, in VNC. So if I click on VNC, we'll see, we'll get prompted for a password up here at the top. And I'll just type in the password, robots1234 is the default or whatever you changed yours to. And once we type that in, we can see we now we're directly connected, but this time we're not connected over say a network or the internet, we're actually directly connected using the Wi-Fi signal. So um, at this point you can do everything um, that you want to with the programming um, on, um, on Raspbian for Robots. Um, for example, if you want to use Scratch, you should be able to just double click the Scratch icon and your standard options for starting Scratch come up. And that's it. We're off to the races and connected over Cinch.